Good afternoon, Liz. This is Brayden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Thank you so much for your inquiry on our 2019 Rugged X that I got in front of me for only $69,990 drive away. I uh, just thought I'd send through this virtual tour of the uh, of the Hilux itself, give you a really good idea of the condition, um, how tidy it is, take you through the service history, uh, including any marks or scratches I can find as well, because basically the whole idea is just to be as transparent as we possibly can, give you a really good idea of the kind of car that you are looking at, and this is just an absolute glamour. So look, I hope you enjoyed If I miss anything in the video or there's something you can't quite see, just sing out, I'll get some photos or another video through. But just a quick idea of who we are, because I know you are down south. So obviously Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Um, this is one of our two pre-owned vehicle yards. So we've got housed about probably 60 to 70 cars here at any one time. Uh, we do have another pre-owned vehicle yard, about 10 k's uh, south as well, where we also do have at Toyota and Lexus showrooms. Uh, that's probably the bigger that yard. We, we fit about probably 80 to 90 cars there. And um, between them, we smash out about 200 a month. So they do go very quick because we do get very good cars, as you can see. That's a little uh, two-story showroom over the back. So like I said, just a bit of an idea of who we are. Um, happy to talk to you about freight. We can organize, organize just about anything through here. But like I said, it's all about the, the highlights here. So we'll get into it. I just wanted to start with the front of the car. So going right across the bonnet, you've obviously got the rugged um, factory sort of uh, plastics across the front there, the matting. So you can see yourself right across that bonnet. So we've got that black fleck. So a small little chip just there on the front. Now like I said, if any of this doesn't show up in the video, just please let me know and we'll get some photos through instead. So a small little chip there. I'm just having a look if there's anything else I can find. Try and get my shadow out of it for you. So it looks like a little one there as well. That doesn't seem to go through the paint. But this one here, if, like if it is a concern to you, if it is a concern to you, we can, we can always talk to uh, management and see if we can get that touched up for you. So I just take you right across the front bumper there as well. So the, you got, obviously got the Safari bull bars, the factory ones that come with these rugged axes, and you got the light wire in the center there as well, through there. But from what I can see, just very, very well looked after. Very clean. I'll get you right up into there as well. So all genuine, the tow hooks as well, which make all come factory on these. But very, very not. Very, very tidy, especially for the 14,000 Ks that this has done. It's pretty much what you'd sort of expect for it. So right now we're on the passenger front wheel. Just sort of take you down to make sure that, uh, we obviously had a little bit of rain the last couple of nights, so there's a little bit of dirt on there, but we can, um, we'll make sure we get, we get them re-detailed before we send them uh, down south as well for you. But I'll just show you up in behind there, you can see those bash plates. The suspension set up as well. Like very, very clean. Super well looked after. Just that unreal black. You can see that fleck in the sun there. It just looks really good. So even on that mirror, it's looking pretty good so far. Looks like again, just a little bit of dust. So on the inside there, you've normally got those sort of common uh, fingernail marks. There's one just very, very, very fine hairline one there where the fingers are. I'll try and show you that, but very, very hard to see. It's not actually into the paint. Yeah, very good. So you got that little button there is your keyless entry too. So we press that one. I've got the keys on me at the moment. That'll lock the car. Press it again and that unlocks it for us too. So in fact, just quickly while I'm on this side, I'll show you the inside door of the uh, passenger front. So super well looked after. Try and show you as much as we can. And even, you know what I mean, this is the sort of most high common sort of areas, the, the two front seats, the high traffic ones where people sort of drag their boots a little bit. Uh, you can see yourself just how well that's looked after. You've got the genuine Hilux floor mats in here too, so they're all fitted. I'll just show you up under there so you can see how we're, that, we're not trying to hide anything. We just leave all the genuine stuff in there, make it easy for you. Take you across those seats. So a very, very sunny day here at the moment. But you can see yourself across that dash. It's about everything you'd expect. So while I'm actually here, I'll just quickly show you. So you do have two keys with this one as well as the spare, the blank. So you've got obviously the um, your central locking there and your alarms from those keys as well. Got your service history and all your books are inside, just the glove box there for you too. So I'll just show you. So it was originally a company car uh, for a painting uh, mob down, down south, down in Brisbane Way, uh, Evelyn Park. I just want to show you the details on this video because this is being uploaded to, to YouTube. 
but you can see it's first service all, um, done by uh, SciFlight Sci to Toyota down south. So the 17th of May this year at the 12,000 Ks. So having only done 14, it's not due again for, what do you reckon, 23rd of December this year, which is just excellent. So pop that back in there for you, grab those keys, and keep moving. So I'll just take you through to this back, back door. You're gonna see my reflection the whole way through. My apologies, but again, a tiny little bit of a sort of, see the paint there, but it hasn't gone through it. Open that up for you as well. Very, very nice and tidy. So you do have the tow ball there for the back. We just take them off so that people don't go hurting the shins on them. You get the storage underneath. Great for first aid kits, duct tape, any of that sort of stuff. You've got your jack and tools on the other side there. And again, I said, very, very clean. Uh, I just wanted to put these up for you just to show how that does work. So you've got the straps here to lift the seat up, but that also does hold it in place. So they clip into place up there and come back down like so. So to get that back up, you've just got that strip down the bottom, lift it up, and just as easy as that, so they just clip into place. So you do have your little argument separator there, great for the kids, a couple of cup holders in there as well. But again, just wanted to show you how it all works. Aircon right through the back. Uh, while I'm here, I'll take you up to the roof. So just speggy, very, very good condition. Uh, fuel is on the passenger side there as well. Lockable fuel tanks and no one being the cab chassis, so people have changed this from the tub to the alloy tray. So I'm just taking down to that passenger rear wheel again. Don't stress about any of that, that's just a bit of dirt left over from, from the rain. So we'll take it again. Uh, my old tread left on these guys as well, so the same same tyres are still on there. Uh, I'll just get you a good view again over the chassis and fuel tanks and that. What was the thing in that? Of course, you got that the rear tow, uh, tow points as well. So again, Toyota genuine heavy-duty alloy tray. So you'll see up in the corner there too. You've got that little Anderson plug. So you've got a battery isolator from the front that actually runs to this one here, where you've got an Anderson plug there too. So very, very handy for camping. So let's take you up underneath as well. So the spare tire looks like it's never been used. It's pretty much what you'd sort of expect. Uh, we got the tow ball there, or the tow, tow bar, sorry. Um, just got that cover sitting over the top of it. And like I said, the tow ball is inside, as we saw. You got the seven pin flat plug there on the back too. You can see yourself just how tidy that is. Very, very well looked after. Uh, we've got your ladder racks in the back here. So they actually do, you'll see those ones there. You can unscrew those on both sides and that ladder rack actually will come out if you don't want to use it. And they just come back into place like so. so very handy. There. Okay. So now just across to the driver's rear wheel. Again, very, very clean. Uh, struggling to see any sort of gravel marks or anything on these guys, which is great. So heaps of tread left on those all terrains. Uh, just take you across that driver's side as well. Again, the keyless entry on this side, on the, both front doors. So while we're here, I'll we'll just take you in. Again, on this rear driver's door this time, on the door cards. So a little bit of sort of minor scuffing on that one there, but very, very hard to see. Again, you've got those genuine floor mats the whole way around. Just trying to get that up there for you. So very clean. They just tuck under that, under the plastic, so I'll get that back in for you. Again, like I said, you've got the jack and tools this side. Unclip that, seat goes down. So I just wanted to show you both those up so you can see the whole works. So like I said, aircon through the back for the kids, which is great. You've got the little hooks on either side of the chairs. Great for like uh, handbags or anything less than four kilos, so groceries that you don't want sliding around. You can put that on the back of both seats. And that dark, that black interior as well. Looks awesome. Just a really good example, hey. So you can see the rest of that door card there too. So this is obviously the driver's side, the highest traffic area of the whole car. And normally, you know, a lot of cars get the sort of wear and tear on those 
on the inside of here and here as well. But you can see yourself, just really, really tidy. So again, a little bit of sort of scuffing there, but very, very light, which is pretty much what you'd expect. So again, stuff under there for you. So electric seats for the drivers. So all your adjustments, up, down, angles, and your, your back rest there as well. So I will take you through the front just quickly though. Pop that bonnet and take you around the rest of the yeah, remaining car. So obviously the genuine Toyota stock all included with it too. And that's 69990, just taking across that windscreen. So no chips or cracks or anything like that to be worried about either. Now you got that last driver's side wheel down here. So again, super clean. Show you up under that wheel arch as well. Love it. Can't beat it. So I'll just pop that bonnet for you. Show you the inside of that bonnet to, under the engine there too. Very clean. So the battery over the right hand side there, you can see that isolator I was talking about up the right hand side. The King's isolator over there, but very clean. Beautiful. So what we'll do, we'll jump inside, start it up for you. So I've got the keys in my pocket, so as long as these are within the car, put on the brake, and you've got the push button ignition down the right hand side there. It's going to start that one up. Now it is a stinking hot day here in Cairns, so I'm going to crank that air con. Just make it down a little bit so you can still hear me. So like we discussed, 14,222 kilometers as it's sitting right now. So super low case, uh, really good service history. And you've seen the condition yourself for a black car, it just looks immaculate. Um, up on the steering wheel themselves, obviously with the rugged X, so you've got all your Bluetooth options, uh, your radio controls over the left hand side, and all the um, controls for inside here, different pages and everything like that, your radio stations, your status things for the car, um, all on the right hand side, lane departure, and your um, adaptive cruise control on the right hand side there too and your cruise control on the back itself so I flick it on and off with that one set and reset down on the right hand side we've got heaps of features so i'm going to try and get as much in as i can for you all your window controls your central lock and the window locks uh, you do have the option to tuck those mirrors in too automatically you can see me in the back there so we'll open those back up really great for shopping centers or out in the scrub whatever the case is um, i love it for the shops because it means people don't go Less chance of walking past the car with their bags or their watches and banging the, the, the mirrors and scratching them up. So you tuck those in, just protects them a little bit. Same as well, if you're out in the scrub, just gives you a really good chance to open that door, get a little bit more room getting out. Or to miss those trees if it's a little bit tight. So right across the back, you do have the uh, automatic setting for your headlights and everything on there. Left side is all your wipers. We have the main controls for your head unit up here. So obviously your audio. Main display is that one there with your sat nav and your preset. And then all your radio settings. Go back to the apps there. Right, go to the home. So again, sat nav, we can open that right up for you. So it's all touch screen, but you can control it from up on the steering wheel here too. So we go back to that home option. And run it all, and there we go. So you've got also your navigation, we will just in the audio, which takes you to your radio, your Bluetooth, whatever you've got working. And your phone, obviously, your phone options, so your text messages, calls, contacts, and that in there as well in different settings, and then your eco status as well. Down the bottom here, we've got your aircon controls, so the fan speed, temperatures, everything's down here. And right down the bottom, again, being the rugged X, you've got your accessory plugs either side, USB, now UX, uh, diff lock, downhill uh, descent controls, traction controls, and looks like a UHF radio setup or as well. Oh. And of course, you do have your heated seats to the left and the right side. So heaps of features, um, especially for a full drive. Just heaps of creature comforts, which is great. So again, we'll just put that into reverse. You do have a reverse camera back there too. So you can see that nice and clearly. Trying to get myself out of the reflection there so you can see it. Beautiful. And of course your power and your eco modes, depending on how you're driving. If you're cruising around town, you want to save a bit of fuel. Or if you do want to overtake any big trucks or get up on the highways nice and quick. Last but not least, inside here, we do have a 100 watt, 220, oh sorry, 220 volt, 100 watt inverter. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll try and sort of get the camera in there. There you go. So, fun factory as well. So, great for camping. But, like I said, very, very clean car. Um, super well looked after. Uh, I've tried to get as much as I can in here, but if there's anything I've missed, just sing out. Um, I'll send you a text with my mobile and details as well. But, thank you again. Uh, thank you for watching. This concludes our virtual tour. 
And I look forward to hearing your thoughts soon. Thank you.